So I have a question from uh, Debaswa Daimari. I am Debaswa Daimari, a student of class 11 science and have a doubt regarding the following question. Five forces of equal magnitudes are acting on a point and are all lying in a plane. Angle between each force is equal. What is the resultant? Yeah. So, this is the question. Numerical questions generally I do not uh, take up uh, uh, to answer, but uh, here is something else which I want to talk about. So, there are five forces and one is here and five forces means 360 over 5. So, this will be 72 degree. So, you have a another force of equal magnitude here then another force of equal magnitude here, then the third one will be somewhere here, I do not know and, and fourth will be somewhere here, let us say. So, five forces of equal magnitudes and these are all equal angles. So, this will be a circle, the tips will make a circle. So, we have to find the, you have to find the resultant. Now, if the resultant is there, there has to be a direction. So, the direction of resultant you have to draw from here, you have to draw from here, whatever be the direction. Now, if you choose any line and say any direction and say that the resultant is in this direction, let us say that it is in this direction. Suppose suppose assume assume that this is the resultant this is the resultant now the question is why this why not this what is the difference between this direction and this direction if all these angles are equal and if all the magnitudes are equal the whole picture is symmetrical then uh, how can the system choose to have resultant in this particular direction, not in this direction or not in this direction, not in this direction, not in this direction. What is the difference between these five directions? And uh, similarly, if you take that it is between these two, the resultant is between these two, this is the direction of resultant. Suppose I say that this is the direction of resultant. The same story why between these two, why not between these two at the same angle, same orientation here or here or here or here. Any line you draw from here in this plane will have uh, five competitors and you would not be able to choose one and reject the remaining four because all will have identical structure and so the only way out is that your resultant is 0. Not that this type of problem should be solved like uh, using this, no I am not of all that for that, I am not for that. I am telling you to look at the symmetry and argue that resultant has to be 0. This kind of symmetry works in many places. For example, suppose I say that uh, I have a, a long charge, I have a long charge, line charge, long line charge, uniform charge per unit length and then I am somewhere here and I am asking for the electric field. And if I say that the electric field this is the perpendicular line, the electric field is, is in this direction. If I say that the electric field due to this charge line is in this direction. The counter question is what is so special about this, why not this, why not this, what is the difference between these two, how do you distinguish, give me one property which this line has and this does not with reference to this uh, given situation. 
there is nothing which can distinguish between this and this and therefore it cannot be in this direction. And similarly, if you say that uh, the resultant is making an angle 30 degree from this, this, this is the resultant direction, then I will come up with this line and ask you the same question, what is so special about this which is not there in this line with reference to this uh, structure. So, these kind of things uh, can be should be visualized, should be visualized symmetry of the situation and from there you can argue many things. Okay?